Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading, the uh, 28th of November 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of European markets, then let's look at the uh, the figures here from uh, the uh, Asian markets overnight. Again, it's been Asian market weakness this week. Certainly has been weighing on global risk sentiment. The US market certainly ignored that with the S&P still above that 2600 level and the Nasdaq still above that 6400 level on the back of hope. On the back of hopium for further obviously tax reform and tax cuts as well. So that certainly seems to be the, uh, the status quo, especially with Mr. Trump's latest tweets uh, drumming that uh, message across. Okay, in terms of uh, the markets, then let's look at the uh, equity markets. Uh, Asian markets overnight, especially after having uh, been under severe pressure on Monday and Friday as well. You had the Shanghai close up 0.3%, Hang Seng still close negative, and the Nikkei close negative as well. So certainly not a vote of confidence, okay? In terms of news flow today, we've had the bank stress tests uh, in terms of the disorderly Brexit come through, and they certainly seem to have just scraped through from that perspective. But Mr. Carney does warn of a disorderly Brexit. Now, if I just bring this across here, Carney warns of economic pain if Brexit can't be smooth. Carney tra tra doubled down on his warning that anything less than a smooth Brexit risks wrecking financial disruption and economic pain. So, again, Brexit concerns highlighted. So, again, that's a risk off scenario. In terms of uh, economic calendar, this morning, uh, German import price index more or less in line. Uh, obviously, UK bank stress tests certainly come through. Mr. Carnage speech as well. Uh, again, from my perspective, certainly interpreted as being negative. Uh, French consumer confidence slightly better. The uh, yeah. money supply from the eurozone. We've got uh, German consumer confidence coming in at twelve o'clock, and then you've got a barrage of US data, goods, trade balance, wholesale inventories, red book, S and P's case Schiller. And then we have numerous um, FOMC members speaking. We've got Williams, we've got Powell, we've got Harker. Okay, so again, uh, we've got the Bank of Canada as well. Uh, and Mr. Mnuchin, the uh, character there, certainly speaking as well. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with regards to the dollar index towards the afternoon. Let's see how the markets react there. Okay, uh, and in terms of the uh, FTSE itself, certainly has started off a little weaker, but has strengthened towards the end of the session. So. Again, uh, bank stress tests, that certainly seems to be the uh, the uh, the actual uh, main uh, theme this morning, okay? And again, like I said, it is risk negative from my interpretation. Okay, so that's basically where we are Let's uh, in terms of uh, fundamentals. Let's quickly go through technicals now. Okay, let's start off with the FTSE itself. Again, it has had an uh, impressive rally this morning, uh, starting around the 7380 zone, 7370. Certainly a short squeezing higher. I've just taken out a short position, by the way. I've uh, entered it around 7.412 zone, 7.413 is average. Uh, stop loss above the pivot high here. Okay, looking to potentially move lower. Uh, now your previous resistance equals support around this region, so 7.405 is initial support here. Then obviously we've got this historical support down in this region at around the 7.390 zone. So looking for 7.405 and 7.390 on the way down uh, and we'll see exactly how the market responds again it could certainly short squeeze higher back up to 7440 and even go back up to 7460 but certainly not expecting that at this current juncture okay right in terms of the german dax let's see where we are now before i just ask you to comment on the german dax i just need to make you aware of the weekly and uh, daily clash now the weekly chart has previous resistance equals support but the daily chart if you just observe here has a hns formation So the question is, which obviously, uh, which time frame do you rely on? Uh, technically, you should rely on a weekly chart time frame because it's a larger time frame. But the daily chart certainly is showing up uh, a bearish pattern. Now, that bearish pattern is actually confirmed by your fundamentals, given the uncertainty regarding uh, Miss Merkel and her coalition. So again, a uh, fundamental catalyst certainly is there to spark a sell-off and close all those multiple gaps below. You've got gaps down to 12,200, so just bear that in mind. 60 minute chart at the moment we're basically just uh, within a symmetrical wedge you can see here we're oscillating between those two um, extremes okay so solid support around the 12900 12950 uh, and even 12850 if we go though uh, alternatively you've got uh, resistance above 
at 30-150 zone and 13-200, 2-20 zone. Okay, so that's the uh, zones that we look out for. 10-minute chart on the German DAX at the moment. We've certainly short squeezing here. We've certainly found support below at 12-966. And we've should reverse quite sharply. Okay, so that's basically where we stand at present. In terms of French CAC now, let's just quickly bring up the French CAC for you. Let's see where the French CAC resides. Okay, so looking at the French CAC now. Okie dokie, right, let's see where we are here. Okay, so French CAC certainly bounced there off support around the 5360 zone. Looking at your 60 minute chart now, you're certainly uh, within the uh, bullish channel. Certainly found support on the lower channel. And the daily chart, you're certainly seeing resistance around the 50% retracement now. Okay, so next support is seen back down at 5270. And then obviously you've got CAC fill at 5240. So be interesting to see how the French CAC certainly trades. Okay, be very interesting. But for now, you're certainly under uh, immense pressure, certainly under uh, resistance as well. Uh, especially when we've had hawkish comments as well with regards to one of the ECB members. Uh, the latest uh, that I was reading before in terms of the European Union, uh, ECB's, uh, OECD says ECB should wait until 2020 to raise key interest rates. OECD sees Chinese growth at 6.8% unchanged. OECD uh, forecast, but ECB's Hansen cutting QE to zero after September must be an option. So basically talk of cutting QE, so again that will keep the euro supported. QE could be phased out economy evolves as expected which i think you're more or less uh, aware of that so again certainly um, euro positive comments there from that perspective so again you have uh, political uncertainty okay so you have political uncertainty okay uh, with regards to miss merkel's government uh, and again you have uh, u.s equities certainly at extremes with tax reform now one or two of the senators certainly opposing it as well so therefore look off Look out for uh, certainly a weakness and a potential uh, a sell off as well. Okay, so that's basically where we stand from a technical juncture. Uh, again, keep an eye on that daily chart, a HNS formation of the German DAX. Now, if we get any negative news regarding Miss Merkel's potential grand coalition failing, uh, okay, potential re election, potential uh, re election again. Uh, so basically, we have to go through the, uh, the actual uh, voting again. So It'll be interesting to see what happens there. So again, HNS formation of daily, certainly triggering a sell-off, which in turn will cause European markets certainly to come under pressure as well. And when US markets at lofty heights as well, if there is a sell-off and a rejection there, you will see weakness in uh, the rest of the markets too. So interesting, interesting uh, position, especially with Mr. Carney's concerns this morning as well, with regards to a, a <coughs> disorderly Brexit and the potential impact on the bank stress test results as well. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.